Tesla and others use a ton of lithium to make the batteries for their cars. So I thought, is this really sustainable? The first thing I wanted to think about was where lithium is used and where you can find it. Chances are you're probably holding it in your hand right now or looking at a screen powered by it. Our cell phones, our laptops, all these things use lithium ion batteries for their power. But you might also be surprised that lithium ion batteries power things like tools and military applications, aerospace equipment, and many other things that you probably aren't familiar with. And of course, Tesla cars and all kinds of others. It's so good in fact that about 39% of all lithium usage in the world goes towards batteries. So what is lithium anyways? Lithium itself is a soft silvery white alkali metal. It is the lightest metal and the lightest solid element. Like all alkali metals, lithium is highly reactive and flammable. So this isn't something you'd want just lying around your house. Uh, especially if you have a toddler running around like I do. So lithium is a metal. It must be mined from the ground like copper, right? Well, not exactly. It is true lithium can be mined from rocks, but mostly it's found in brine pools. Lithium is also present in seawater, but there aren't any commercially viable methods of extracting it at this time. So as an aside, when you see a meme floating around on the internet showing a giant mine where lithium comes from for these electric vehicles and how bad it is for the planet, that's actually a lie. That's a copper mine that you're looking at, not the place where lithium comes from. As of 2017, most of the world's lithium production is in South America, where lithium containing brine is extracted from underground pools and concentrated by solar evaporation. The standard extraction technique is to evaporate water from brine. Each batch takes about 18 to 24 months. So with so much demand for lithium to power all these devices and these cars, it's a fair question to ask, are Tesla and others doomed? Well, not really. The US Geological Survey's report for 2017 shows that worldwide lithium production increased by an estimated 12% in 2016 in response to increased lithium demand for battery applications. Production in Argentina increased almost 60% primarily owing to a new brine operation. The leading Argentine producer also increased production. A producer in Chile reported that its production increased by 20%. Two small Australian spodamine operations, one new and one inactive since 2013, plan to begin commercial concentration by production year end. Worldwide lithium production capacity was reported to be 49,400 tons in 2015. Capacity utilization was estimated to be 64% in 2015 and 71% in 2016. Based on average projections by producers and industry analysts of about 14% growth worldwide, consumption of lithium in 2016 is projected to be about 37,800 tons, up from 33,300 tons in 2015. So the trend is going up, but when you take a look at the overall picture, you find that owing to continuing exploration, lithium resources have increased substantially worldwide. Identified lithium resources in the United States from continental brines, geothermal brines, hectorite, oil field brines, and pegmatites have been revised to 6.9 million tons. Identified lithium resources in other countries have been revised to approximately 40 million tons. Identified lithium resources in Argentina and Bolivia are approximately 9 million tons each. And in major producing countries are Australia, more than 2 million tons, Chile more than 7.5 million tons, and China approximately 7 million tons. Canada's lithium resources are about 2 million tons, Congo, Russia, and Serbia have resources of approximately 1 million tons each. Lithium resources in Brazil and Mexico are approximately 200,000 tons each, and Austria and Zimbabwe have more than 100,000 tons. Beyond just producing more lithium, companies like Tesla have also been focused on creating a closed loop recycling program. Back in 2011, Tesla stated that, at Tesla, we have been refining our recycling program for years. Before sending our battery packs to be recycled, we can reuse about 10% of the battery pack by weight, mostly from the battery case and some electronic components. In North America, we work with Kinsbersky Brothers to recycle about 60% of the battery pack. In Europe, we recently started working with Umicore, and now that we are selling cars in Japan and Asia Pacific region, we will soon have news about recycling in Asia. 
Lumicore's factory plants are able to recycle our batteries into completely reusable materials and substantially reduce the carbon footprint of manufacturing lithium ion batteries. The Umicore battery recycling technology is able to save at least 70% of CO2 emissions at the recovery and refining of these valuable metals. It does this by creating products and byproducts rather than following a mechanical separation process. So while the drivetrains in Teslas are rated to go over 1 million miles and the batteries themselves are looking around 350,000 miles or north of 550,000 kilometers before they need to be recycled, these things aren't just gonna be thrown away. Tesla's gonna take these and recycle all the precious metals there in a very sustainable way, reducing the cost to reuse those metals to make new batteries and thus new cars. So if you're an investor or consumer of products that use lithium ion batteries, such as phones, laptops, or EVs like Tesla makes, really you shouldn't be too worried about the world lithium supply. We have quite a long road ahead of us before we really have to worry about it. And even then, who knows what new battery technologies are gonna be coming out that may change this entire scenario for us. So thanks for watching. And remember, when you free the data, your mind will follow.